definitely that's in focus and it's going to be in focus all of today is TCS. A buyback is on the cards. The board will meet on February 20th to consider the same. Reema's with us. Reema, run us through all the details. Uh, well, you know, first let me take on the point Ashwini said that the reaction has been quite muted. But bear in mind, the stock has already seen a big run up. Uh, it's rallied nearly 8% in the month of February, plus this 1% that we're staring at today. And from the 52 week low hit in November 2060, which was closer to that 2050 mark, the stock has gained close to about 17 odd percent. Now, how much can the company buy back? The net worth is close to about $12.5 billion. So they can do a 10% buyback, up to a 10% buyback. But that is uh, without uh, you know a shareholder approval if they take a shareholder approval then they can go up to 25 percent which makes it a maximum three billion dollar buyback not a problem for TCS considering the cash in the books is closer to 6.3 billion dollars the question is will this buyback be in lieu of the dividend in F516 the company had paid a dividend of close to about 43 and a half rupees per share the promoter holding currently stands a little north of 73%. So we suspect the promoters will have to participate in the buyback. If they don't, then the promoter holding goes above that 75% mark. So um, it could be a good way for Tata Sons to get money from TCS. Uh, anyway, they get it in, you know, from the dividend. So you, know, you could get some more from the buyback this time around uh, and still manage to hold on to their uh, stake. Uh, with respect to the EPS impact, analysts say it could be very marginally EPS positive uh, for, uh, you know, the, you know, in terms of the EPS impact, because currently the yield on cash, uh, the yield on the cash post tax would be uh, 5%, which is lower than their earnings yield, which is close to about 6%. But this is going to put pressure on the rest of the IT companies. Just take a look at the cash balance they're all sitting on. Infosys is more than $5 billion. Uh, we suspect the pressure would be most on Infosys because they've not made an acquisition in the last one and a half year, as opposed to HCL Technology and Wipro, which have been very active on the m and front in the last uh, one or two years. So Infosys has not been. They have cash of over $5 billion. So I think after TCS, the pressure from the market point of view could be most on uh, you know Infosys. And plus, not just a market pressure, I think they're facing pressure from uh, their own shareholders as well. So I guess uh, Infosys could be the one to watch closely. All right, Rima, thanks so much.